after a breakup, you truly feel like your whole world is just collapsed. You could even say it's a similar feeling to losing somebody. Death. I haven't lost a few people close to me in my life. I definitely say death and heartache are very similar. I mean, at the end of the day, you're losing somebody that you loved. Especially when they just disappear from your life. You feel alone. No one seems to understand how you're feeling. You get that cliche responses like, oh, it'll get better with time. And in your head, you're just like, well, can time just hurry up and pass? You wish you could just go to sleep and wake up six months later. Or they say, don't worry, there's plenty more fish in the sea. You know what? That's great for my goldfish, but what about me? Breakups are so crazy because they actually cause you to act out of character. You do things that you never even thought you would do. You don't even recognize yourself. But at the time, it all seems so logical, right? I'm in pain and this is what is coming naturally. I did that because I felt like that was the only thing that I could do. That's how you feel, right? The first few weeks are insane. They're crazy. We go through these roller coasters of emotions. I hate you. How could you do this to me? I miss you. Please come back. Okay, all right. I need to just focus on me and forget. Please, just come back. Please, make everything right. Breakups will turn the most sanest person bipolar. You know the whole crazy ex syndrome? You have to think to yourself, are they really crazy? Or are they just in pain? You get that thought in your head that states, I don't want anybody else. I only want you. Isn't it crazy that the only person that can make you feel better is the person causing you this pain? You feel so alone and abandoned. How could someone who only yesterday Yesterday, came to love you unconditionally, treat you like you mean nothing today. You have no idea why they suddenly decided that this relationship was over. You feel like saying, hold on, don't I get a say in this? I mean, since it's your heart that's about to be shattered into tiny little unfixable pieces, shouldn't you decide if you want to proceed with this course of action? Sadly, it doesn't work that way. That one person is in control of the entire situation. It's so hard to understand why. The pain is almost blocked. Any logical thought process, you ain't even in your right mind. Then there's the whole drunk texting. Now, I don't mean drunk on liquor. I mean drunk on emotions and pain. When you start texting your ex, when you start trying to express all of your pain through texts, <laughs> wow, your thumbs have never typed so fast and so much in your entire life. And then you press send. You're waiting. Waiting for that response. You're waiting for what you want to hear, what you want to read, what you want to see. But it's never the outcome you want. And that's when the pain really hits you. You feel like they don't care. They didn't really love you. How could they throw everything away like that? Then you get the need to call your ex and to see them one last time. You're looking for relief. You want them to say everything is going to be okay. But the truth is, you won't find relief in talking to them. And you won't find closure. You'll just feel more pain and frustration. Then you start to blame yourself for the breakup. You know what? Maybe it was my fault. Breakups really suck on a mental level. Everything starts to remind you of your ex. Cars driving past make you freeze in the hopes that it's them. Love songs make you want to just curl up in a ball and die because every single word seems to relate to your situation. It's like, who the hell went and told the singer my life story? I know for me, I hated being alone. Being alone meant I was alone with my thoughts. My thoughts were horrible. They just made everything worse. Then you have that weird heartburn feeling. The feeling that you used to get when you were on your way home from school and you knew the moment you opened the door, your mom was going to whoop your ass. Hmm. The video is kind of getting a little dark and painful. You're probably listening to this now thinking, Angel, you're making me feel worse. But sadly... There isn't a magic pill that's going to make the pain go away or something that I can say or something that anybody can say that will give you freedom. When you've invested so much time in somebody and given them so much of yourself and soul, healing will not be an overnight process. What you need to do is regain your logical side and think with your head instead of your broken heart. Trust me.
I know how you feel. I know your pain. I've gone through every single psychotic, unrecognizable, tormenting phase. I know how it feels to just want to do nothing, to want to let your life reflect your hurt. But in order to heal, then you need to do something because doing nothing will literally kill you from the inside out. A breakup gives you a few options. You can either let it destroy you, turn you cold, bitter, and heartless, or you can rebuild yourself stronger and better than before. Yes, there will be scars, but you can allow those scars to remind you of how far you came. Those scars are a reminder that you didn't allow that breakup to destroy you, but you need to take control of the situation. Stop flying across the room every time your phone rings, hoping it'll be them about to deliver you a dose of relief. Stop waiting for them to save you from your pain. If you keep waiting for them, then you'll never get over the pain. Stop waiting for closure. Closure will not come from them. They do not have the power to heal you. I know it hurts, but this is what you have to do. They can't save you. Only you can do that. Listen, I wish I could give you a ball of fluffy hugs to make the pain go away. But instead, all I can give you is reality and the realization that you are not alone. You'll realize you're not crazy and we've all felt like this. I know you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel right now, but it is there. You just have to take the first step and walk towards it. Trust me. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never-before-seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a Black-owned, Black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free, forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.